All right, Jay, I'm making this video for you because sometimes you wake up and you feel like your shoulders are too small. And I want you to remember what your three favorite shoulder workouts are. So today we're gonna take you through your favorite shoulder workouts. All right, so to complete the overhead press with proper form, I'm going to stand with the bar in my hands in front of my shoulders. I'm then going to press the bar over my head until it's balanced. I'll do this by locking my elbows at the top and shrugging my shoulders to the ceiling. It can be pretty difficult to learn, but once you've got it, it's a great exercise that helps to build muscular shoulders and bigger arms. Lifting things above your head can be a little scary at first, so I definitely recommend lowering the weight and then working your way up. The shoulder fly works the lateral deltoid muscle of the shoulder. I start this movement with my arms somewhat straight other than a slight bent at the elbow, and my hands are holding dumbbells at the side of my body. I'm in a slight forward leaning position with hips and knees bent a little. To complete the move, I'll raise my arms in a coronal fashion until my hands reach approximately shoulder height. Lastly, the upright row is a weight training exercise performed by holding the bar with an overhand grip and lifting it straight up to the collarbone. This compound exercise works the traps, deltoids, and the biceps, which is why I think it's a great technique to learn. The width of the grip determines which muscle is worked out more, so the narrower your grip is, the more you'll use your traps, and the wider your grips are, the more you'll thicken your deltoids. All right, yeah, so you can either do machine upright rows or you can do barbell upright rows. Either way, they're pretty great. I'll switch back and forth between the two. I personally like machine a little bit more because I feel that it isolates your traps um, a little more than barbells, but barbell is good for overall body conditioning. This bad boy is really all you need to get those gains that you want, you know? Mr. Fan, Mr. Fan, welcome back. Today I am your trainer. This is your conscious talking to you, telling you it's time for your ab routine, your daily ab routine, maybe weekly if you've been eating too much Cheetos. This is something that you learned back in college. It's called Ab Ripper X. So today we're gonna get started. Okay, so the first workout we're gonna be doing is crunchy frogs. We're gonna do 25 reps with your hands up or hands down. You choose. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, so the next workout we'll be doing is forward and backward bicycles. Okay, let's get started. 3, 2, 1, again. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 
Okay, now we're gonna do it reverse. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right, now we're gonna do a controlled, isolated ab workout called Viper Scissors. We're gonna lay flat on our back and we're gonna alternate kicking our legs in the air and hold it in that position for 25 reps. Goes like this. Ready? Again. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, nice job guys, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Woo. Yeah, okay, awesome guys. So that was a really quick version of my abs. A little small warm-up ab routine. I'll post a video later on doing an actual ab routine. That's pretty rigorous and intense. So, see you guys soon.